Q4, which means the fourth quartile of the year is super important for any e-commerce business. If you are an Amazon seller, you probably know the importance of this time. Because during this time, we have several sales event, for example, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, Boxing Day in UK, and also Children's Day in Canada, and many more. As a result, any sellers on Amazon can double or sometimes triple their sales during this period. You can also do the same by following some simple strategy. So in my today's video, I will discuss what strategy you should follow during the Q4 season. So let me first show you the Q4 results of last year for some of our accounts. Here on the first account, we sell non-seasonal items. Even though here you can see during the Q4 times, there is a high spike on sales. Not only just 2020, it's also was 2021, 22, 23 also. So during this Q4 times, every year we are getting better sales. If I go to the business sales, you can see the spike on last year on Q4 times. Now let's move on to my another account where we are selling seasonal items. They normally sell Christmas gifts and ornaments. And here also you can see there was a high spike during the Q4 times. If I go to the business report, now you can see there was a big jump during the Q4 season. So you can now understand how actually sales improve during the Q4 season and why it is super important for you as an Amazon seller. Now let me give you some suggestions how you can be fully prepared for the Q4 sales season. The first one is manage your inventory. Let me show you one thing. On August 19, 2024, Amazon announced that you need to prepare your FBA inventory if you want to maximize your sales during the holiday especially for the prime big deals days and also for the black friday and cyber monday they also mentioned the deadline and before that you must need to send inventory to their warehouse you know having a prime page within the listing is super helpful to grow the sales so if you want to keep the prime page within your listing you must need to send enough inventory to the amazon warehouse because during this period, there is a high chance of grow your sales. So you must have enough inventory for your products. Because sales may double or sometimes triple during this time. So you must have enough inventory in Amazon warehouse. Now the next one is budget. As you know that during this period, you will get higher and higher traffic. So it's common that you must need to have higher budget. Otherwise, your campaign will be out of budget before ending the day. So to make sure you are having enough budget, you just need to go to the budget tabs from the campaign manager. So after going to the budget tab, you first need to check if all your existing campaigns are having enough budget or not. If they are okay, then you can move to the campaigns again. And here you can see for the last few years, how was your spending? And based on that, you can keep extra 25 to 30 percent for this year sales event. Now, the next one is bid optimization. You know, during this period, everyone will suggest you increase the bids, increase the budget, but no one will suggest or show you how you can optimize the bids and budget. Even though if you have enough budget for your campaigns, you need to know how you can optimize your keywords to utilize your budget properly. So first of all, you can go to the targeting section and then you can select on last year around this time. Then you can identify which keywords did well for you during the last year Q4 times. But if you have the seasonal items, then you should focus mostly on the seasonal keywords. To do this before the event, you just need to check on Helium 10 what seasonal keywords are trendy now and then you can use those keywords in your campaigns and put the higher budget. This way you can optimize your campaigns and get the best results. So let me summarize. If you want to be successful during the Q4 season, you should have enough stock, enough budget, choose the right keywords, then optimize your campaigns most effectively. 
and another special tip for you you can use sponsored display retargeting campaigns because using this campaign you can target those customers who visited your items previously but they didn't purchase so you can target those customer again and encourage them to buy your products and that's all for today's video i hope you get all my points and you should start be prepared for the sale seasons if you face any issues managing your campaigns or need help, then you can email us at info@ecomclips.com. And also, you can visit our website www.ecomclips.com and review our recent blogs. See you soon in my next video with another PPC topics. Till then, stay safe. Thank you.